he's not putting a gun in his mouth and committing suicide. But when you get to that level of addiction, I know it very well. It's kind of like suicide on installment plan. You don't plan. care. You don't you, care. You know, where you just like, I'm not necessarily aversive to taking steps towards the end. You know, even though I'm not going to make a, a point to do it. Uh, is it. Is it hard for you to talk about yes, that? Yeah, no, it's yeah. really, really yeah. difficult. You know, yeah. like, you know, thank you for pointing that out, Dr. Drew. <laughs> um, but, you know, you, you do feel a certain sympathy to someone who you, you just know, I don't know what was going on. I don't know what exactly happened. But one thing I do know, as much as I know the sky is blue, that he was suffering very badly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, you, you, can, you know what, exactly what that spot is. And yeah, we don't is, know it. We don't know it. Well, and, and that's the... The unfortunate aspect of, of the disease of addiction, it doesn't matter if you're uh, a streetwalker or if you're, you know, Robin Williams or Lamar Odom, the pain is very similar. It's yeah, very yeah, universal. Yeah. Can I ask you? It's, it's such a human condition. You, you can feel what I, Mike's feeling, right? I, it's and breaking you, my heart. Yeah, and, you, and you wouldn't know to feel that, right? It, it's, it's a disease. <laughs> Arriva's shocked that I have emotions. <laughs> Much like if you were to take someone who had a disease of the liver or a disease of the heart, and then people were to make the claim that that was something they brought on themselves. That they it was deserved, -chosen. They deserved yes. it. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's just not that way. And I understand it. It's something, if you segment, you know, the body and you could say, well, it's very quantifiable, someone's disease of addiction, because you have a certain amount of rock or, or powder or pills or drink it, that you don't necessarily get with cancer or diabetes. But at the same time, it's, it's a disease like no other in that, it completely transforms your chemical and your intellectual ability to deal with the things around you. But I want, I, without, without exposing you to too much, I want yeah. if you could just uh, describe the, that, that place, that, that people are confused by the Well, place. yeah, I, and, and, you know, not, it sounds so um, self-serving, but, you know, it, it's very hard to describe being a person who, and I had a very loving and supporting group around me. Every, uh, my friends, my family were all there to make sure that I, could be as healthy as possible, and I still felt no real compelling reason to want to go on with my life. And, you know, that, that, that comes from something external and how it affected my personal chemical makeup. Your brain. And, Your and brain. you know, it's really difficult to, to try and see someone like, like uh, Mr. Odom because, like I said, I don't know anything about what was going on in his life. I don't know the guy. But I do know, as much as I know anything, that, you know, his life is not a pretty picture, and it's and it's a, it's a tremendously it's an indescribable level of torture to to kind of identify that being your life and still have to wake up and live that. And and then to try to escape into this thing that becomes more of a problem and more of a source of pain. It's just this incredible cycle that people get in. Painful. Can I give you a hug? Yeah, of course. I, yeah, it breaks my heart. Like, can you take your top off? <laughs> <laughs> if that helps. If that helps. Here. It's a reasonable question. <laughs>